Well, y'all, it just keeps getting better and better. I went to the coin shop today, and they had one coin in the display case, y'all. One coin. And I said, what's that? He said, it's not for sale. I said, well, well, what is it? And he said, it's it's a queen's beast, and, and it's not for sale. I'm, uh, he said, everyone keeps trying to buy my coin. I said, well, ain't you a coin shop? And, I mean, it's in the display case. Uh, people probably think it's for sale. And he says, I just want folks to, to know I got it. That's that's my favorite coin. That's all he had in the in the display case, y'all. It just keeps getting better and better. And uh, and everything else he had was junk silver. He had junk silver, which apparently no one will buy. No one's buying the junk silver. And he had one piece of bullion, a, a queen's beast. Not this, guys. This is just for dis, uh, for demonstrations, y'all. But... That's the coin shops of today, y'all. The coin shops in North Carolina are... Uh, I don't even know if they're on life support anymore. They might just be dead. I don't know what they put in the barbecue down here, but coin shops are just dying off on a daily basis. I said, well, are you looking to buy then? You know, I was just kicking the tires. Uh, he said, well, what are you paying on eagles? He's paying 90% on eagles. Mm-hmm. Well... Well, you have a good one, buddy. That's what we do down here in North Carolina. When we pat on the table like that, that means you ain't never going to see me again. Ain't worth my time. And I tried one more place, y'all. Tried one more place, uh, Pinehurst. Tried old Pinehurst Coins. I'll call out the big shops. I ain't going to call out the the local-owned shops. But uh, Pinehurst, I called them on the telephone. Uh, you know, like Silver Seeker does. Wanted to be Silver Seeker for a day. Call call around, get prices. Well, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Well, I asked I asked old Pinehurst. I, I just had two questions for him. I want to know what they were paying on uh, quarter ounce gold eagles and silver eagles, and they wouldn't tell me. And they said, well, we'd have to take a picture of them and, and send it to us in an email. I was like, what, what a picture? What do you need to see a picture for? I mean, it's just a regular, like, it's not graded or anything. It's not special. I'm just looking for your price. He said, well, we don't give prices over the phone. I was like, well, why not? And like, that's our policy. I'm like, okay, so y'all just won't be difficult. Well, then I won't take my, my time to drive down there then. You just lost my business. So one by one i'm just ticking off the coin shops down here y'all and there's basically none left i don't i don't know what they put in the barbecue down here y'all but the coin shops have have gone nutty and they just don't care anymore y'all even my good coin shop that i've done business at for years um you know they used to pay up to 98 percent on on gold eagles then it became 97 percent then it became uh slowly it's just been going down and down and down 96 95 94 and today they're at 93 percent. they just keep going lower and lower on gold eagles y'all and um i think even lower on on silver and it's just not worth it it's, it's the final nail in the coffin y'all now i know people in florida say oh oh things are great down in florida things are great down in texas uh, apparently things are great, but I don't I don't know what's going on in North Carolina, y'all, because the coin shops here are are just dead. Maybe I should inter should I interview Big Daddy Hoffman because he he apparently he thinks he's a good coin shop. I don't know, haven't been there, but I'd just like to interview a, a coin shop owner and just just get a rundown of of just what is going on. I mean, is it wrong to give prices over the phone? Is it wrong to call? I don't think so. I mean, would you go to a grocery store that changed prices every day? They were only open for four hours a day. Um, you just want to buy some Captain Crunch cereal. One one day a box of cereal is five dollars. The next day it's ten dollars. The next day it's twenty dollars. I mean, would you shop at a place like that? And this is why young people don't want any part of this, y'all. Young people don't want any. They don't care about all this, y'all. They don't care about a, a, a Arctic Fox coin, a fine silver coin from Canada. They don't care. They just want the Bitcoin. I don't blame them. I don't blame them one bit. I'm even looking at the Bitcoin, y'all. I think the Bitcoin is a good, uh, a good investment, y'all. I might just sell everything I own, just go all in on Bitcoin. That's what the young folks are doing. They're just buying the Bitcoin. 
And uh, I don't blame them for not wanting any part of this, y'all. And people don't have time to be driving all over the place looking, you know, asking what the, the spot price is and how much are you paying and then just getting ripped off. Now, I did look at that Vermilion Enterprise. Some of you told me about the Vermilion Enterprise. Now, that place looks legit, and that's the model that all coin shops need to look at. They are transparent with their pricing. They just tell you on YouTube what they're paying and what they're selling. They're very transparent. They're very... Uh, and the prices are great, by the way. On on Silver Eagles, they are buying... I mean, I hate to just give a, give them a free ad, but hey, they, they earned it because this is these are good deals, y'all. For Million Enterprises, um, Silver Eagles, they're paying spot plus two dollars on silver i've never seen that deal in my life in north Carolina. i've never seen that in my life around here y'all i've never seen anywhere that pays spot price for anything it's always below spot they pay two dollars over spot for silver eagles they sell them at four dollars over spot so that's a two dollar spread i don't know how they stay in business with those deals but i mean if i had something like that nearby i mean yeah i it, it as a game changer i'd be in there you know every other day i'd be there every paycheck getting buying and, and selling if i had to i mean those are great prices on quarter ounce gold eagles they they still pay over spot they pay what they call melt they call it melt but I, it's basically spot price y'all uh, it's two percent over spot for quarter ounce gold eagles they sell them at nine percent over spot so that's a seven percent spread y'all that that is a great deal y'all on all fractional gold it's a seven percent spread uh and on full ounce eagles it is a four percent spread they they buy them at spot so every kind of gold eagle from a tenth ounce they buy them at four percent over spot quarter ounce two percent over spot Half ounce and one ounce they buy at spot. And they sell a one ounce at 4% over spot. I mean, these are great deals, y'all. I've never seen anything like this. And and anything else, like a Maple Leaf, Philharmonic, they buy them at 98% spot. I've never seen anything like that in North Carolina. We don't have that in North Carolina, y'all. So uh, if you have that kind of place near you, then yeah, um, things are great and I would be doing business there and, and I'd have a completely different outlook on uh, precious metals. But r- around here, y'all, the, the coin shops, they just don't want your business anymore. They, they just don't care. They don't even want you to come in. You, you go to the store, the lights aren't even on, the doors are locked. They look closed. They do, they, they do that on purpose because they don't want to get robbed anymore. But they just make it impossible for a regular customer. The, the, they're only open about four hours a day, in the middle of the day. They, um, doors are locked. The lights are turned off. There's no customers in there. There's nothing in the display case. The prices are insulting uh, it, at best. And it's just not worth my, my time. They won't even quote you a price over the phone. They're difficult to deal with. They, they just don't want your business around here. And I, I don't blame the young the young folks one bit for not wanting any part of this and just going all in on the Bitcoin and the Ethereum, which every day is looking better and better. And uh, we should talk about that next time, talking about the Bitcoin and the the Ethereum. They're doing with computers what what we've been trying to do with precious metals for for, for decades. They figured it out. The computers are doing it the right way. Um, they're going to have their own banks, uh, that, that don't involve the banks is, is going to be, I'm starting to understand it more than I used to y'all like, like the be your own bank. I didn't know what that meant. Now I'm starting to understand. Um, like even the coin shops, know they, they get their bank accounts shut down all the time. They could be using Bitcoin and Ethereum to, to bank with, um, that's it y'all i mean i mean pretty much everybody's gonna be using that stuff soon uh it's taking uh the inflation inflation away from the government so they can't keep controlling the money it's taking the 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 power away from the banks that uh control everything it's it's starting to make sense to me 
more than it used to. And uh, I'm just telling y'all, man, um, we're, we'll take a look at it because uh, that, that Bitcoin and Ethereum, man, they, they got something going on there, y'all. I'm, I'm starting to understand what they're doing. But uh, anyway, the coin shops here are dead, y'all. They are, they are just beyond. They're not even on life support anymore. I don't know what they put in the barbecue, but for some reason, the coin shops down here, they just don't even want your business anymore. And uh, fine with me. You won't get it then. Bye. See ya.